Welcome in part 6. In part 6 I will explain how to make one of the Wainde or Kite Tracks. So let's begin. So again a very simple method. We've got a template made from 2mm um, MDF. It's all been glued up together. We've got back of that piece as a front of the riser. Now how to make the bigger thread. So what we've got available on our website is a thread and extension and I'll explain now how it all works. So the thread as standard is 27 centimeter long. All our threads are pre-grooved at the back and all our extensions are also grooved at the Okay, so as you can see, this is the same principle as the wooden flooring. So we've got a tongue and, a, and initially we've got a groove. So now we can put these two pieces together. And that way we're creating a bigger platform. We're actually creating a bigger rectangle which allow us to transfer this sort of shape and allow us to cut bigger triangle threads. So what we do, Martin will cut all required shape from that template and later on we'll just glue these two pieces together so it creates a nice thread. As, as, it, as it was explained in the previous video, please remember the back of that piece is actually front of your riser. So what we need to do, because the riser will be going there, that's our front, so we need to set off two centimeters, as this thickness is two centimeters, set it off and just make it there. Okay, so Martin again used his uh, plunge saw or track saw to cut the shape out of it. So after removing the template, you can see that's still loose, so we'll have to do, we'll have to add some adhesive there. I've got all cuts made there. Okay, so to bond these two pieces together, we're going to use a lumberjack wood adhesive. It's a polyurethane uh, adhesive. It's slightly expanding, as you can see there. It's for the joint, uh, so it's slightly expanding. It's not like big, like expanding foam. It's just slightly it will slightly come out. This is to fill all the gaps, avoiding imperfections. We will also try to do it as we would do it in a DIY environment. So we've got this um, belt there. Uh, we've got a tape and we've got some little pieces of uh, wood. We, we also prepare a set of clamps. So what we're trying to do here is we will try to clamp it from here to there. So we've got a little piece of wood just to support the material so it doesn't get damaged by that uh, piece. We also got these small pieces of wood. This is just to put them on top and underneath just to keep the material straight. As you can imagine, imagine when we start putting some tension there, it will start pull, it will, it will try to pull it up. Okay, so we, we, we will start. We will so we'll put some tape just to protect it from gluing wood to wood as as you can imagine these two pieces we've got in the workshop are solid oak as this is solid oak so we don't want uh, these pieces sticking to our uh, material as when we try to take it off it may actually splinter or chip the nice side of the material so that tape actually it will be put where the joint is so if there is any glue come out it will stick to the tape which is a lot easier to remove uh, than just uh, two oak pieces glued together Okay, so we'll put adhesive in the grooves. So a nice thin cut, it doesn't have to be a lot. Okay, so we've got a foreign pen piece just been put in place, so you can see Martin just adding some more adhesive on on the top. This is where we definitely want to see a nice joint. So I've got some at the bottom as well. Okay. 
Okay, so what we want to do now, we've got about five minutes uh, of the working time, so we'll try to clamp it within five minutes as these adhesives start activating after about five minutes. So let's begin. Okay, these pieces of wood, as I said before, we just put them to keep the surface straight. So when we put the clamp over this area, uh, it would stop it bowing or pulling. Okay, so now I'm just going to put the clamp over. As you can see now it's all clamped in sort of DIY environment where you can use basic tools to make that. Of course you can glue two pieces, you can bond two pieces together as a full platform and then make a cut. Uh, the choice is perfectly yours whether you want to do it that way or glue two pieces together. Uh, the both options are available. So we will move from that thread which is already in uh, gluing. Uh, bonding so we've got that thread going there marching in the meantime it did another template again using two millimeter uh, MDF we will show exactly how to do it in the next video so we'll be doing that thread and we'll do it we'll show it step by step how he does the template again uh, march indeed um, that part there as a front of the riser then it will be transferred to the bigger thread and we will glue it exactly the same method as we did here where the following thread where that thread we will try to glue two big pieces together so we'll glue a thread and extension make a bigger platform and then we'll cut out the shape of that thread thanks for watching part six if you found this video useful please subscribe to our YouTube channel. My name is Lucas and I will see you in part seven, which will explain, will explain how to make a template and how to glue two pieces together. So I will see you there.